What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about different YouTube tools and equipments, especially whenever you're starting out, what things will help make the best content for you. And I do want to emphasize that whenever you're starting a channel, you don't necessarily need any of these. Some of them you might need at least the cheaper option, but most of these you don't need until you start to grow your channel and you start to develop your videos and you know what kind of videos you want to create. Then you know what kind of equipment you want to do and get for your channel to make your videos even better. So the first thing is something to record on. Whenever I started my channel, I was actually using a fourth gen iPod. The video was just completely dark. You couldn't really see much. The audio was terrible. I actually ended up having to record the audio separate on my laptop and try to splice them together. So those videos back in the day were just terrible. Whenever you are starting out, even if you do have something like just a smartphone to record your videos on, at least you're starting somewhere. You don't necessarily need to go out and purchase a camera. I'm actually against people thinking that because you don't need to go and spend money whenever you're starting YouTube, especially because you're not going to get ads for a long time. You need to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in one continuous year before you even get ads on your channel. And the revenue from those ads is still gonna be very low until you start to grow your channel. So there's no point to go out and buy a, an expensive camera right off the bat. It took me about five or six years before I went and bought my first camera to use on YouTube and to record my videos with. Before that, it was always a smartphone. And before that was my fourth gen iPod. The next item I'm gonna be talking about is going to be lighting. At least for me, at least right now, I do have have some great natural light so I don't need to have any specific lighting. It is early in the day. If it was later in the evening, I would need something like a ring light. Now, if you are recording your videos and it's in a dark area, a ring light is a great option. This one here costs $50. It also included a tripod, which I would only use for this because it's very low quality. But this ring light here is definitely a great quality. It's going to be a long lasting one. It has multiple different uh, dimming settings and brightness settings so it definitely is worthwhile to at least acquire a ring lights you don't need something really expensive like I said this one here is $50 and I didn't get it right away whenever I started my channel. This took years to get. I got it just a couple years ago, actually. But it does help the quality of your videos down the line. Next, what we're talking about tripods. This ring light did come with one, but it is a very lightweight one. So I wouldn't really put my phone or a camera on it because it's just, I don't feel it's so sturdy. I would just put the ring light on it. The tripod that I use most of the time is the one I'm currently using with my camera right now. And I literally bought it at a yard sale for $3. So you can find a older one used for around three to ten dollars that's what I usually see them at yard sales for so you can get them pretty cheap and you don't necessarily need to go on Amazon and buy a more expensive one because some of them go fifty dollars some of them are like a hundred and fifty dollars and whenever you're starting out you don't need that but eventually it is nice to have a tripod and more recently I did buy a small one which is actually great because you can use it. So whenever I'm doing uh, any kind of reaction videos and I'm watching a video on my laptop, I can use a small tripod to put my camera on. The best part is whenever I'm doing any of my flipping for profit videos where I'm just having the camera in front of me and, I'm fo and it's following me, it's nice to have it set up on this because the camera is more sturdy than if I'm just holding the camera. So definitely having different options for your tripods. Like I said, the one I go to all the time is the one I'm using right now for my camera. I paid three dollars for it. This one here is twenty dollars on Amazon. It's actually a really good quality one and very sturdy, but it's definitely worth it to have a tripod. Then you're not always holding your camera and it's easy to get that perfect angle rather than trying to set it up on something. Next is going to be if you do have a camera, it is going to be having multiple memory cards. Right now in my camera, I always have a 128 gigabytes uh, memory card that is usually empty whenever I start my videos because once I go and transfer the videos to my laptop and edit them, I always go and erase the memory card so then I always have it empty the next time I need to use it. I also have a couple 30 gigabyte ones and a couple 60 gigabyte memory cards as well. So it's always nice to have multiple memory cards, especially if there's videos that you don't necessarily want to delete right away until you have them fully edited like I do, then you have multiple ones that you can go and use and while we're still on this topic it is awesome if you do have a camera to 
have multiple batteries because I find some of the batteries, especially if you're gonna record a bunch of videos back to back like I usually do, usually I go through all three batteries during that time. I definitely am gonna be looking to getting a few more, but it is nice to have some extra batteries as well as extra memory cards. The next one is optional. It is definitely something depending on the kind of videos you make. For me, if I do any kind of voiceovers or any kind of audio videos that I want to put some audio in some of my videos, this is what I decided to go and purchase. It was actually my most recent purchase. So whenever you're starting out, you definitely don't need to use something like this, but that is a microphone. Now this one here was I think $50 on Amazon. And this one here I use for any reaction videos, voiceovers, anything that I need to just use my audio audio for if I'm reacting to something or especially my gaming videos definitely is awesome to have a mic. Before that, I was using the mic on my laptop, but I found that it wasn't necessarily matching up or it was very low. And then after that, I was using just some headphones that had a mic built in and I found the audio wasn't the greatest until I ended up purchasing this recently for $50. The audio is actually awesome in those. So depending on the style of videos you make, whenever you're starting out, it's fine to use stuff that's built into your laptop or a headphone that has a mic built in, but eventually you might want to go and actually purchase a microphone. You don't necessarily need to expend a lot of money on it. This one here just has a small uh, tripod built in. It's not one that has a big boom or anything, but this one here was $50 and the audio is amazing. Next is gonna be something to edit your videos on. If you are recording on a smartphone, whenever you're starting out YouTube, you don't necessarily need to purchase a program to edit your videos. You can edit straight on your phone, but eventually you might want to upscale the quality of your videos and getting a video editor on your laptop and transferring your videos onto your laptop to edit them will definitely benefit you down the road. But again, that's not something you need to do right off the bat. There's a ton of different programs to edit your videos on. Whenever I started my channel way back in the day, I was using Movie Maker to edit my videos. Now I am using Filmora 12. I've been using them since around Filmora 9. And I find the videos are awesome. Not only does it have a video editor, but you can actually see the sound waves of your videos. So you know kind of where you need to cut the audio out and where you need to cut and splice together so it's actually easier to edit your videos. It also has a free uh, screen recorder and a free voice recorder built into the program but again there is other programs out there. You don't necessarily need to go with Filmora 12 but I do have a lifetime membership so it's awesome to have that but again down whenever you're starting out you don't need to have a video editor. You can edit your videos on your phone, but eventually you might need to get one or might want to get one to get your quality of your videos even more better. And the last tool with YouTube is going to be TubeBuddy. I know some people are against it. Some people absolutely love it. I am one of those that do love it for what I use it for. And that is mostly doing all my tags and everything and seeing what kind of things are trending and different things like that and copying tags from other videos that I've made onto my new videos. It's way easier for that kind of stuff stuff and it does save me some time. TubeBuddy does have a free option so you don't need to pay for it right away but there is other tiers as well. I do have a paid one but if you have under 1,000 subscribers once you put your YouTube info in you do get a discount and even if you surpass the 1,000 subscribers whenever it auto renews the next year, it will still be at that discounted price. I'm at 5,000 subscribers plus, and I'm still at that discounted price. So it might be worth your while to get that. But again, starting out, you don't need to have a paid subscription for TubeBuddy. It is awesome to have just the free subscription, but the paid subscription does have a few more benefits. And eventually down the line, you might want to go that route, but definitely at first, just testing out TubeBuddy, making sure it's for you and having the free version will benefit you. So again, not everything that I mentioned in this video you need whenever you're first starting out YouTube, but eventually you might want to one by one get some of these just to get the videos that you want and get the quality of videos that you want on your channel. I think it was definitely beneficial, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.